Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of my travel altar and show you how I put it together. Let's do some magical crafting. I made my travel altar out of a cigar box. I thought about painting it, but ultimately, I liked the original design with the four gold bees and decided to keep it as is. I bought a strip of balsa wood from the craft store and cut it into pieces that fit inside the box to create compartments in the sizes I wanted. Then I glued the wood together. I made sure that the tiny moleskin notebook that I use as my traveling spellbook would fit in the bottom center. I also measured my chime candles to make sure that they would fit. I added tiny wooden candle holders for each of four candles, one to mark each of the four cardinal directions. I chose white as the most versatile color. Next, I add a small ceramic representation of the god and goddess, or divine masculine and feminine. I chose a green man and a moon. I also included wooden discs that represent the four cardinal directions and elements. I have a separate video showing how to make these wooden discs as well as a pentacle disc as a representation of spirit. In this tin container I have included some charged gemstones, crystals, and even an acorn, all representative of earth. A tiny silver chalice can hold a small libation to the goddess or the element of water. For air, I'm including a tiny incense holder and a few sticks of incense that I've cut shorter to fit inside the box. And a wee tiny compass to help me determine the directions if I don't have the sun or a shoreline to guide me. Next, I'm adding in glass vials filled with herbs, rose petals, and lavender and two vials filled with sea salt for cleansing the ritual space. In the last two vials, I'm placing rosemary and sage for smudging. Next into the box goes a small seashell to burn the herbs in and a pentacle disc. As I mentioned earlier, I have a separate video showing how to make this disc. Then a small broom and two feathers to represent air or to use while burning smudging herbs. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the contents of my travel altar. Most of the current items I've included are fairly general and all purpose, and I may pack up more specific items to take to a particular ritual as I need. You can use these ideas as a starting point for your own box of goodies and tailor the contents to your path and needs.